Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to MLB Wednesday Night Baseball and welcome to Houston, Texas. Minute Maid Park hosting this game between the Texas Rangers and the Houston Astros, the second to final edition of Wednesday Night Baseball before the playoffs begin on September 17th. Top of the first coming up next. Tonight for Texas, the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. Marcus Simeon will lead off for the Texas Rangers. First pitch from Framber Valdez is a ball. Connects with this in the strike zone, goes foul. One and one. One one pitch on the border, ruled a ball, two and one. And all the way to the warning track, that one will go. He will get to second. So a double here for Simeon as Corey Seeger now comes up to the plate for the Rangers. Connects, goes foul. 0-1. Runner still at second. That's outside, one on one, 78 miles per hour from Valdez. Connects, goes foul, one and two. The one two pitch. Inside, 93 mile per hour fastball, two and two. Two two pitch. Connects, goes foul to keep the count two balls two strikes that goes low to make it a full count sinker is ball three Jonah Heim on deck for the Rangers swinging a miss and he is out of here so there's the first out Jonah Heim now batting for Texas connects this one goes foul on one the very first pitch And tried to pick him off. He's safe. A bit distant from the base. Going for it again. Safe. Still runner on second. 0-1 pitch to Heim. Makes it 0-2. That's a strike. And he does pick him off this time to make it two outs. 60% chance of winning now for Houston. 1-2 pitch outside to make it 2-2 two and two here for Heim. Connects. This is going to be easy. Throw to first. And we go to the bottom of the first. No score between the Texas Rangers and the Houston Astros. Jose Altuve will lead out for the Astros here. First pitch is a strike. Martin Perez on the mound for Texas here tonight. 0-2 for Altuve after that foul ball. This goes low to make it 1-2. and two. One two pitch is in the strike zone. A bit dubious to me, but Yuli Goriel will step up to the plate nonetheless. As the first out comes by way of strikeout. One and all. First pitch of the ball to Goriel. Second pitch, 94 miles per hour inside the strike zone, forcing fastball to make it one and one. Connects with this. Up it goes. Back, back, back. Oh, he misses the catch. Jumps, but still unsuccessful. And pass second. Now going to third. Is he going to make it? No, he is not. Tagged. 
out, two outs, here in the bottom of the first, to bring up Jordan Alvarez. So a bit of action to start things off here. One and all. Connects with this, it bounces and goes foul to make it 1-1. One 1-1 one. One, one pitch, connects, goes foul, 1-2 for Alvarez. Another strike would end the inning, and there it is. No score at the end of the first, top of the second coming up. The Rangers will bat. Your attention, please. And a new pitcher coming on the mound, Brian Abreu for the Astros. Thirty-one games last season. Here we go. So Adolis Garcia will lead things off for the Rangers in the top of the second as Brian Abreu takes the mound here at Minute Maid Park. First pitch is in the strike zone. 95 mile per hour four seam fastball. Strike one. Second pitch. Swing and a miss on an 88 mile per hour slider to make it 0-2 here for Garcia. 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. And three straight strikes. He is gone. Nathaniel Lowe now batting for Texas. First pitch. 96 miles per hour in the strike zone. Strike one. 0 oh 2 after that. And this could be a quick inning. 0 oh 2 pitch. That is ruled outside. 85 miles per hour. 85 miles per hour. 1 and 2. This goes high. 97 miles per hour. 2 and 2 here for Nathaniel Lowe. 2 2 pitch from Rayu. Connects, goes foul. Count remains 2-2 two and two here for Nathaniel Lowe. 2-2 two, two pitch once again in the uh, corner. Close to his foot. Slider is ball three. But this is strike three. Two outs on the top of the second to bring up Leody Taveras. Leody. First pitch is way outside. 88 mile per hour slider. Uh, ball one. That's in the zone. 95 miles per hour. Four seam fastball. One and one here for Taveras. Connects. But this should be easy. Steps on the bag. And we go to the bottom of the second. Still no score between Texas and Houston. And coming up later tonight, as Taylor Hearn takes the mound for Texas, coming up later tonight, we'll have BWF Wednesday night plays, 8.30 p.m. Eastern, 7.30 p.m. Central, followed by the National Basketball Association Wednesday night basketball, week two of the season, 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central. Taylor Hearn to pitch here in the bottom of the second for Texas, as Alex Bregman steps up to the plate for Houston. Alex. First pitch is high, 95 miles per hour, ball one. Second pitch, in the zone, 96 miles per hour. Four seam fastball makes it one and one. One one pitch is low. Two and one now. Bounces out of the catcher's mitt. Two one pitch. Three and one now. Kyle Tucker on deck. And the crowd starting to wake up here. He will connect. He will smash this one far back, but the catch is made nonetheless. First out as Kyle Tucker steps up to the plate for Houston. First pitch is high. 1-0. Second pitch. Connects, and this is going to go all the way to the warning track, up against the wall. That's a double. Runner on second now for Houston. Here in the bottom of the second. Of course, there are only three innings scheduled for tonight. A 68% chance of victory for Houston compared to Texas's 32%. Of course, we will go to extra innings if necessary. 
but will they be necessary? First pitch is a low ball. 1-0 here for Trey Mancini. 84 miles per hour, slider, 2-0, goes outside. 2-0 pitch, 3-0 now. Jeremy Pena on deck for the Astros. And 3-1 now. Three one pitches in the strike zone and now 94 miles per hour. Three and two. A three two full count pitch. He connects and it's gonna bounce. Runner to third. Batter to first. Runners on first and third now for the Astros. And David Hensley coming in as a pit as a pinch runner. Number seven. First and third as Jeremy Pena steps up to the plate for Houston. First pitch is in the bottom right corner of the strike zone, 0-1 here. Swing and a miss for strike two. One out here in the bottom of the second. Still scoreless between Texas and Houston. Connects. Fielded and now looking for a double play. They will not get it. And because of that, it's now 1-0 for the Astros. Not very smart there. Should have gone with home plate. But nonetheless, 90% chance of winning for Houston. 10% for Texas at this moment in time. Chaz McCormick now batting for Houston. First pitch goes low for a ball. Pickoff attempted unsuccessfully. Still 1 0. Here for Chaz McCormick. The pitch. Checks his swing. It is ruled a strike. I believe it was inside the strike zone nonetheless. 1 and 1. And once again, Pena remains at first. One one pitch to McCormick is outside. Two and one. Two balls, one strike. Two two now. Eighty five mile per hour slider, a little bit high, but still in the strike zone. Two two pitch. He connects, and that's gone. That is out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Home run. Let's see the replay. Astros three, Rangers zero, and you can hear the train going here at Minute Maid Park. McCormick sends that one out of the ballpark. 360 feet, 92, 92.7 miles per hour exit velocity. Statcast presented by Google Cloud. And Dennis Santana now stepping on to the mound for the Rangers. Texas possibly bring in their closer here for tonight. I would think so. Now that's a 3-0 lead, they'll only have the Astros will only have three more outs to get to take victory over their uh, state rivals here. First pitch, 0-1. Martin, Martin Maldonado. Ninth of the batting order. Now at the plate for Houston, 0-2 pitch, 96 mile per hour sinker for ball one. 1-2 one pitch, swing and a miss, and we go to the top of the third. So just three more outs required for the Astros to take victory over the Rangers. 3-0 for the home team as we go to the top of the third. Rafael Montero hoping to close things out here for the Astros. All they need is three more outs and they will have triumphed over their state rivals, the Texas Rangers. A 3-0 lead for the Astros as we come into the top of the third here. 
Cole Calhoun will start things off here in the top of the third for the Rangers. First pitch in the strike zone, 95 mile per hour, four seam fastball. Strike one. Connects with this. It's going to bounce, and he will get to first. So base hit there for Calhoun. Brad Miller now batting for the Rangers. First pitch is outside, 96 mile per hour, four seam fastball. Ball one. That's ball two, 89 miles per hour. Outside once again. That's in the strike zone, 96 miles per hour, a four seam fastball to make it two and one. Strike one here for Brad Miller. Two one pitch connects, but it goes foul. Two and two here for Miller. The two two pitch swung on and missed. And there's the first out. Ezekiel Duran now batting for the Rangers. First pitch is outside, 1 and 0. Ball 1 for Duran. Last in the batting order for the Rangers. This pitch is inside the strike zone, 1 and 1. 1 1 pitch, he connects, and it goes foul. Duran one strike away now. That's inside, 96 miles per hour. A four seam fastball to make it two and two. The two two pitch, he connects but it'll bounce foul. Count remains two and two. That's inside, 96 mile per hour sinker, although it didn't sink that much and it's now three and two. Marcus Simeon, the leadoff in the batting order on deck as Ezekiel Duran takes his base on a low ball. Marcus Simeon, one for one today with a double in the first inning. The leadoff batter in the order for the Rangers. First pitch goes foul. 0-1. That's low, 96 miles per hour, four seam fastball. One and one. 1-1 one, one pitch is outside to make it 2-1. Two 2-1 and one. Two, one pitch, he connects, it goes foul, and now the uh, Houston crowd starting to get a little bit fired up. 2-2 two, two pitch, and still 2-2 two, two here, as that is hit foul. Once again, 2-2, two and two. swing and a miss, and he's gone. One out away now for the Astros and Corey Seager, 0 for 1 here today with a strikeout in the first inning, could be that final out. First pitch, outside, 96 mile per hour, four seam fastball for ball one. 1-0 one pitch is out, or, uh, inside, outside the strike zone, but Inside is the proper term. 2 and 0. Oh. Seer connects on the edge of the bat, sends it foul. 2 and 1. Strike 1 here for Corey. This is inside the strike zone. 2 and 2. One strike away here. Will this be it? Seeger connects, sends it foul. He's got one more chance. If he hits a home run here, it would tie the game and possibly send us to extra innings. He will connect here, and that might happen. No, it will not. Catch is made at the warning track. And the final score, Houston 3, Texas 0. That'll be all here from Minute Maid Park. BWF Wednesday night plays uh, 8.30 p.m. Eastern, 7.30 p.m. Central. National Basketball Association, 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central. Thank you for watching. The final score, Astros 3, Rangers 0.